Hey, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. I am here at the YouTube Space New York during the Next Up Creator Camp, and I decided to take this opportunity to do a soap maker's interview. The beginning of my soaping journey happened by accident. I was studying arts at the, the University of Quebec in Montreal, and my mom called me one day and she said, hey, my friend is selling her shop in this very touristic location. Are you interested in bringing your arts and selling it over the summer? And what I was doing back then was pretty urban since I was not on the island. I said, sure, yeah, I'll figure something out. When I was a child, my aunt, which I would visit in the summer, would take me to her aunt's house and she would give me these soaps that she made. And my grandma made these soaps, they're called country soaps, and they wash everything from dirty dishes to laundry to, you know, kids and everything. <laughs> so I had this idea in my mind that I wanted to do these soaps. And when I was a child, my mom would tell me, no, 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 there's no way you're going to make soap. It's too dangerous because you have to use lye and it could burn the skin. And I was too young. And then I'm like, hey, I'm an adult now. Let's give it a shot. I had 200 bucks in my pocket and I went to the store where they sell soap making supplies and I spent every last penny on supplies and I went back to my third floor apartment and I made some soap. And then I called my mom and I'm like, hey, I got this great idea. I'm going to make soap in the shop. And she's like, are you crazy? Nobody's going to buy soap. It's like, who would be interested? Because she only had in mind her mom's soap, which are kind of plain. And, and my dad's like, let her do her thing. You know, what does she have to lose? She has like 200 bucks. If she fails, whatever, you know, no big deal. <laughs> when school was over, I just took the ferry and went home with my soap and put them on the shelves alongside with my jewelry and my postcards that I had printed. And guess what took off like that? I was born on the Magdalene Islands, but I was raised on a sailboat part of my life as my father and my mom had a boat, a sailboat, that they took in the Bahamas every year. My dad and my mom and I were looking for a name for the business that summer, and my dad's like, hey, why don't you call it La Fille de la Mer, which in English means the daughter of the sea, because I was born on an island and raised on a sailboat. And yeah. <laughs> I'm really inspired by my environment. Where I live is very touristic, so in the summer my clients are mostly um, people coming to visit the islands, and they really love to know that things are made by hand on the island, but what they like even more is when there are local ingredients in the soap. I can use kelp, I can use sand as an exfoliating agent. I can use many things. There's a microbrewery and I use their beer to make beer soap. I make goat's milk soap, uh, cow milk soap that is all local. I use beeswax, local plants and fruits that I pick and dry. So I think that is what makes my soap unique uh, because I get inspired by the things that are in my environment and by the maritime kind of theme because I live on an island. So that inspires me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any additional questions, please comment below. I will see you very soon in the soap studio.